Hello everybody, this is 60% can't, and uh, I'm playing Terraria, and look this druid is, or dryad, where the hell she is, she's doing some crazy magic spell over there, and I don't know what the fuck she's doing, I just saw it a moment ago too, the first time, what are you doing, tell me what you're doing, is she summoning, oh you can do purification, <gasps> I actually totally need those, oh that's awesome, pumpkins? I never looked at her wares before. It's pretty cheap, right? I'm gonna use a little bit on the hollow. Um, uh, she says something about percentage of corrupt. No, cor yeah, use it on the corrupt. I need to get more of these shadow scales too. So I can make some uh, uh, demonite stuff. I got a few bars. I got like six bars right here. Uh, 21 over here. Should make something, huh? Is it better than the meteor stuff? Oh, I don't have enough scales, right. Well. We just have it on the mode that, uh, if you die, you lose your money. So I'm just gonna deposit my money. I shouldn't have to worry about anything else. My, uh, depth gliding, or depth diving. I can see that spell come from so far away. Maybe underground I could access the corrupt. Hmm. It's pretty far away, huh? Maybe this mine way would take me closer. There's also corrupt over here. Oh, that's super close. Okay, if I just go that direction. Might be interesting. I didn't check this hollow yet. I mean, corrupt. I went. I swear I went. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's where I went. Righteous. Yeah, I got two of the, maybe even three, of the, uh, the little shadow orbs down here. And then uh, I cracked three of them. And on the third one, the boss spawned. And uh, he whomped me. It's a big worm. Keeps segmenting. I was actually pretty close. Well, I don't know if I thought it was pretty close. I think I ran out of potions or something, which would be a good stop to take this, mu this mushroom, underground mushroom biome. Maybe what we'll do, we'll go through that to get some mushrooms. Make sure I have enough... Uh, I have lesser healing potions, I just want to upgrade them to regular healing potions. With the glowing mushroom. And then maybe we can head up this way. Okay. Whew! Back in my day playing Terraria, we didn't have maps. Shit, shit would be way easier with a map. And it is. And even with a map, it's still quite a daunting exploration game. I keep feeling like I can double jump because of my old. I don't know what um, what edition that old Terraria was. It was not this edition. All right, go to the left a little bit. I got some shiny armor too. If you can absorb <gasps> scorpion, holy shit! I'm trying to put fucking powder on him. What the fuck even happened? I didn't even see. Oh no. <laughs> so, a while ago, uh, I spilled some water on my keyboard. And, uh, I spilled stuff on my keyboard before, so I didn't think much of it. It seemed to just last, and I hate this keyboard anyways. But, n oh, I'm reversed. Oh shit. Now, what was that? That was like a. a f some sort of. S oh god. Now I'm blinded. Skeletons, don't chasing me. Get the way. Oh yeah, mushrooms. And these even have mushrooms too. Oh fuck yeah, I gotta change with my my mouse wheel instead of. So one through five doesn't work on my keyboard. And uh. Oh, it takes fucking wall too. Oh. My instincts are always to press 1 to get to the sword and stuff, so that's gonna be a delay of combat. I always question this game's combat. Especially when it ends up you just keep hammering away at the fella. It's just because you're not that agile to do interesting stuff. You gain agility through the game, so perhaps that makes up for it. I guess. 
So I've never used a space gun before, and it's pretty at this stage of the game it's pretty rocking. Luckily that meteor fell, and I got tons of meteorite. Which gave me enough to build all the meteorite equipment. There's no uh, pickaxes and swords and stuff with uh, meteorite, but it was a space gun. And it has a, a bonus that it doesn't take mana if you wear the whole suit. The space gun has that property, which is interesting. Slime, don't bother me now, please. Okay. Have it. I'll take you out thrice. I mean, I guess I could play more strategically. I don't know, there's something about the pacing of the enemies to you. Honestly, I'm also not a fan of enemies that just hurt you by touching you, you know? That's always been a trope using games. But that doesn't really make sense. You need, like... Okay, we're gonna get real down dirty with this concept right here. If you get down to, uh... Like, why something dies. I'm slicing with a sword. You know, I'm giving it cuts. So I'm segmenting its being and severing how it functions correctly. So, sometimes a couple strokes is all it takes to disable something. And actually make it eventually die. But usually it's not immediate death unless you're cut off a vital, vital part. Your heart, your head, or enough blood loss. Like immediate blood loss. So if you compare that to RPG game or these games, his performance is not affected, me hitting him, right? He is good until he is HP is zero. Until ah oh, fuck a worm. Man, it's much harder to use the mouse wheel each time. I'm really used to using the numbers. That's my fault for spilling shit on my keyboard. <laughs> oh it's talking here. So, I don't know, I'm just designing a game right now, so I'm trying to figure out a, a lot of random things about these topics. Because, as far, I don't know as far as beings, but <clears throat> in the game, you're, it's a platformer, but you're, I want it to be a very agile one. And also, um, you do spell casting is a big element about it, but regardless of that, you also can build ships, like flying ships, and, and they go into quote unquote space, even though a lot of those things don't aren't in that in the same way. It's not supposed to emulate reality. It's kinda of supposed to be this fantastic place. And maybe integrating concepts uh like multi dimensional concepts. Like maybe you could say theories that people have about what existence could be and um iterating those. For example, it's only a 2D game, but there's another dimension to that. Another. It is another 2D dimension, but it almost creates 3D because of the combination. So basically, think like depth. So, like in this game, uh, you, X, X and Y you go up and down, left and right. Those are the ways you can go. Um, so that would be in the game the physical world that you can go through, but there's like alternate dimensions, and that goes across each z-axis. So say you're on this dimension, but if you just go up one dimension, there are some things that correlate with that dimension to, that are connected through dimensional lines, quote unquote. And uh, so you can travel that z-axis, but it would be like a, a whole plane shift, like when you go. Z2, it's a whole different dimension, but it's a whole 2D universe. So you got like, all these layered 2D places. And they're correlated by this hidden layer that's going 3D, or going 2D the, the tangential way. I don't know if this is just randomly complex for no reason. Um, so if you think depth in like a 2D game, there's no depth, you know, there's the background, you can see that wall there in the, in the water. I think the water's considered my plane too, but there's still some layer depth. It's like two layers right here. Maybe three because you can't see the wall here. Um, so along that axis, that z-axis, would be these other dimensions. 
and and also this layer of energy that exchanges that you utilize for your spells and stuff. I don't know if it just makes no sense at all, but I'm just trying to explain my game from whatever perspective that I have of it. Okay, I feel like I'm going... <laughs> I hit Mav, he says, come on. Because I'm going where... Before. Alright. I'll just go up there, huh? Man, the sound effects don't. Oh, oh, I was going. I was digging here. Why the fuck am I not using bombs? I'm just chatter box. Might be good to make sticky bombs right here. Oh, I have some sticky bombs. Just need to go up a little bit, okay? How dog? What? Mm, Should have been higher. Oh, I love that you can see the, the sparks go down, so you can see what's over there. Oh, some gold or something, but... Okay, we'll blast it, whatever. Bombs are a dime a dozen, I tell you. Now with this topaz, I could sell that for real good prices, see? We're just gonna obtain this. We're gonna bomb this gold. We'll try to bomb that direction, too. Okay, oops. Oh, it doesn't mine it, does it? Oh yeah, it does, sweet. You hear that zombie going, freaking out like a trucker? Traveling merchant! He keeps leaving and coming back, does that mean he's got more wares? Ah, I mean... <laughs> this is, I just try to find sound effects. They were just so random. I just got just from this one site that had a bunch of games. So I got a lot of 64 games. So a couple few couple GameCube games, SNES. Their SNES selection was quite not complete. Oh man. It just goes on. But there's a tunnel down there, so that'd be worth checking out. I'm just trying to get out west. Another thing that I can do is go to the I think it'd be the far left, because I think I already checked far far east. And oh shit, that Roman fucking skeleton's going nuts on I got a space gun. Forget about it. I haven't been using this, have I? I think it's those slimes. Oh man. Is this a platform? Oh shit, is that one? I just drop bombs. What the fuck am I thinking? This French toast, Sonny. Forget about it. We're demolition this whole area. We're building a trans highway, I tell ya. Javelins. Okay. Javelins. It's a thing. A hook, huh? Intriguing little place. Yeah. Oh, this demonite! That means. Well, first off, I need this shit. Second, that means it's connected to the corrupt. As far as I know. <gasps> the fuck? It's just isolated and stone? What the frack? Oh, damn. Oh, I can't even. I can't even mine it in regular means. I didn't even use bombs! I never knew that when I first played that you could use. Maybe I did. I don't know. This game's pretty crafty, but not Minecrafty. There's no mines in this game. <laughs> oh. They're a whole different turkey. It's this whole genre. It's a whole genre, totally. It, but it, like, even combines tropes from so many games. What the fuck is this? White shit. Is that bone? Wasn't there like bone or something? Marble? Okay. I will keep. Going this way, I guess. Make more sticky bombs. This is yellow. To Who needs a yellow torch? Do a few sticky bombs. I guess I can keep them over here. 
Inventory management. That's a tough one. Huh? In the game I'm making, I don't know if I'm gonna have. So basically, how you do everything in the game are these spells. It's like these sequence of words. There's only four letters, quote unquote. Holy shit, this goes so f Oh, it looked like something down there. And, uh. And it's almost like coding. Because you can set uh, a spell can have a lot of parameters. You just gotta like set them basically. Oh man, that looks like it goes forever. And marble is pretty sweet. Though. I'm all for marble. I use a lot of marble in Minecraft. Oh sweet. Man, that scroll. I'm not used to scrolling like that. What the fuck is on the roof there? Is that just topaz? Wow. They did some cool ideas. To make things realistic in certain parts. All right, so green mushroom, tail mushroom. Come on, just get me to the corrupt. I tell you. Okay, it's right there. So I don't know if it goes as deep. Oh sweet! I always do that, and they always go in the little middle. Oh, wow. Destroy! Oh, 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 oh! Where the fuck am I? Oh shit! Oh, what the fuck? I thought that was ground. Holy shit! That was. Oh, it was very scary when things are surprising. Fucking heal yourself. <laughs> oh, I never thought that was gonna be a terraria. I was, I was setting these keys for Minecraft play. Broke the wall, nice. Got space gun. Forget about it. Bombs do nice. Nice damn. Bombs are just all fucking awesome. They are bread and butter. It's this game for me. Squinched. They squinched. Yeah, I took a nasty fall. But I don't think I took that much damage. Oh, that's what's scary. He's fucking falling. Hey. Piranha out, out of water. Let me get to my sword, please. I gotta scroll all the way over to it. I can't use my number pad. I don't know why. Is there... Maybe there's... Uh, hot bar slots. Okay. Uh. Cycle? Maybe cycling would be useful. Oh, shit. It doesn't stop, right? I don't know. Hey, it's, he's back in water. How do you get out? This is a crazy fucking area. Oh no, I don't. When I see webs, stay the frack away. Is that stone? Okay. Man, spider webs have a whole new meaning with this update. If in doubt, throw a bomb down it. Be nice. Drain, Eli. Drain's dry. If I have a milkshake and you have a space gun. There's a lot of damage, it's fucking fast, like, it's crazy. The bow... Does more damage, doesn't do more damage? 16. This does more damage, and it's faster. What the fuck is the point of the bow? It's inferior. Also, the fucking gun goes, like, through things. What the heck is this? Does water? No. This area is scary! Oh man, I could have bombed through it, couldn't I? I guess I did end up doing that. Anyways, what is that? A bat stuck right there. Okay. Splime! Oh my god, that was 
fucking scary. Oh, this looks so fucking cool. This is such an interesting variety of terrain. It really feels like raw exploration. Fucking awesome. Yo, cool it, Roman. Romans, the empire ended forever ago. Forget about it. It's just remnants and skeletons. Stay in your closets. Your French toast yet? I gotcha. You know what? It fucking glit. It fucking delayed. What am I getting hit? Poison? Darkness? What is it? On fire? What the fuck was that? Oh, it's a fucking slime. Oh shit. I didn't see him. That's scary. You look really. What if I could change that? What? It'd be. Oops. So that's like all my fucking sound. <laughs> I was just seeing if one would be good for a healing potion, but actually I think what it is right now is just fine. So sweet! It's kind of cool to play my own sound during a thing in the game. I like that. I like it a lot. Oh, this is stimulating my exploration so hard. Oh my god. There's no knowing where we're rowing. The M should change. For sure. You know, there's so many, um... I, I went I mostly found vocal sound effects I, I sifted through many so many miscellaneous like like just fucking all sorts of sounds like utility sounds of the game also like yeah menu sounds those are cool a lot of things would work for like a healing potion uh oh I saw a fucking something jumping around was something? Was a campfire? What the fuck? It's so creepy. What is this? Silver coins? What the fuck? It's kind of freaky. <laughs> We're just going to the left and going down. And go. You can use a uh, controller in this game. You know, what am I at with time? You know, we'll just do an episode here.